guys today i have a very interesting table for you this is called matahari from bali now the history behind it is actually pretty fascinating to me uh, because the name is um is named after an exotic dancer um who called herself matahari um and she was kind of uh, she was deemed as a spy in World War One for Germany, um, and as a result, she was executed for that uh, by a firing squad. Um, but apparently, it might have never been. She might have just been innocent, and France was just using her as a scapegoat. But uh, you know, she was a very um, you know exotic dancer who um, could seduce high-ranking officials. So. Um, who is believed to have done that so this is where the name comes from and you can kind of see it in the back glass here um, where you have some kind of rich looking dude <laughs> um, and you have an exotic dancer uh, also on the back glass according to IPDB there is an inscription um, on the dagger in the back glass that reads in German uh, translates to my honor is loyalty um, so this was something a motto that the uh, Waffen SS troops used and adapted uh, after uh, there was a statement made by Hitler in 1931 um, but this table is actually uh, it alludes to um, Margaret Zelly who was a Dutch she was born in the Netherlands and um, you know she was a su successful exotic dancer she traveled all over Europe um, during World War one under the name Matahari so that as a result led to her demise unfortunately um, <clears throat> so this is a very interesting table for that reason alone but uh, talking about the design, it looks really nice. You, I like the reds, uh, the motif of the maroons. I like too how you have uh, the 1,000 point pop bumpers, the red ones, are kind of nestled uh, behind some kind of structure with some drop targets. So let's go here. Oh, that was pretty cool. I think that's what Biggest added, some kind of uh, sound effect where you can hit the glass. Because that is something that actually happens, that I've actually noticed in uh, playing real pinball. Is that, you know, you can hit the ball hard enough where the ball can bounce back and actually hit the glass and make a sound effect just like that. Okay, we got all the pop bumpers lit. Oh. Very symmetrical table. Which I, oh my gosh, which I think adds to its beauty. You know, when you talk about symmetry. Let's go again here. That was a very... <clears throat> Bad game for me. Oh my gosh. That is frustrating that. Do you see that? Like just like flipping it to <clears throat> to the out lane.
Wow. Jeez. That was worse than my last one. <laughs> okay, if they say third time is the charm. Wow. I also like you you notice how the kick out hole up top kicks it out at an angle so that you can catch the ball. Because if it kicks it out right down the center, it's like almost a drain. Guaranteed. I got a good bonus there, though. Oh, man. Fifty thousand? Yes, sir. We did it. Got no more drop targets on the left. Two on the right, I wanted to try to complete. Well, guys, thank you for watching me play Matahari from Bali, released in 1978. Really, really interesting history behind the table itself. And I uh, hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you think about it. Thanks for watching. Until next time, catch you guys later.